I would say this is like the, at the top end of the weirdness scale for brewing. I was approached by Smutty Nose Brewery and they had interest in developing a kelp beer. And it just so happens that we're doing research just off the coast here, growing kelp in, in a variety of manners and several other seaweed species. Never brewed with kelp before, so kind of had to just take a, take a stab at it. The sugar kelp is it's sort of like the super kale of the sea. It's full of vitamins and nutrients, trace elements that we don't get in some of the plants that we, we eat from our gardens. We harvested 60 pounds that we brought to them. They take the kelp, they uh, stick it in a freshwater bath to clean off some of the epiphytes that might be growing on it, and then they put it in their kettle and they boil it for about an hour. Uh, well, this is how we get the seaweed out. It was kind of an arduous, uh, labor-intensive brew, more so than usual. My opinion with any beer is when you're adding an adjunct like seaweed or blueberries or whatever you might be adding to it, it still has to be a beer first. So you kind of build the recipe up, build up the malt bill, the hopping, and then you're, you have to take into consideration how much flavor you're trying to extract from whatever adjunct you're throwing in there. I don't want it to taste like candy. I don't want it to just taste like low tide. My biggest concern was bringing a flavor profile that beer drinkers would enjoy. I mean, obviously it's going to taste briny and, and kind of oceany. We figured a, a nice like malt forward Scottish red ale would work well so we'd have a little balance of that salty briny flavor quality uh, balanced with a bunch of malt sweetness from the barley. Uh, so this is our finished product, a uh, Selkie beer. It ended up at 4.9% uh, alcohol by volume so you know fairly on the sessionable side you can have a few of these and still walk home. We think this could be a whole new niche for us with seaweed. The brewery market is something new and exciting because there are so many microbreweries in New England that this kelp could fuel into and, and uh, it would be a fresh local product that could take advantage of.